how to make an all leather friction clasp. Cut out the pieces from veg tan leather to the dimensions as in the description. Skive one end of the 7cm piece and one end of the 5cm piece. Lightly tack the 9.5cm top piece to the smaller wedge pieces, ensuring that they are square at the ends and with grain on both sides, just like this. Mark where you want the stitching lines to go. Make sure that the stitches will go through all three pieces of leather. Using a pricking iron, mark where the stitches will lie. It will be difficult to pierce such thick leather, so that's why they're just lightly tacked together. They can easily be separated and gone through one piece at a time if necessary. Then all three pieces can be securely bonded together. Using a needle, check that all the holes line up. Then take the longer strap piece and making sure that it's square at the end, uh, poke a needle through to align those holes. This piece can then be stamped through with the pricking iron. Again checking that uh, all those um, holes are lined up. Then I'm cutting off small triangles from the top piece. This isn't difficult with a sharp knife. Using a number two edge beveler, I am beveling the edges of the top piece. I'm then using some dark brown um, oil based dye to uh, darken up the edges, and then taking my favourite uh, slicking agent, Toconol, I'm starting the burnishing process. This is a 600 grit wet and dry uh, sandpaper I'm using for burnishing and also a piece of 1000 denier cordura which also helps the burnishing process finishing off with a burnishing stick going over again with some dark brown this is the base part I'm beveling the edges then I'm going to groove two of the sides at three millimeters. And then again using the uh, pricking iron produce uh, a line of holes for stitching later. Now this is the keeper part. Skiving the ends. This is a wood carving tool that I'm using just to punch through and to make that straight line for the keeper to go into. 
you can nibble along just a millimeter or two at a time just to make sure that the keeper goes in as a tight and snug fit just like that that's going to be glued at the back this is Phoebing's uh, saddle tan it ended up quite dark so I actually had to uh, re-dye the top parts um, with dark brown to make it more even colour beveling the sides as I go along just before dyeing the keeper part this is the long strap piece again using saddle tan the top grain part will be facing upwards so make sure that you really slick down the bottom part so that there are no fuzzies at all I, used, I like to use tokenol for this process after dyeing beveling the edges again and now it's beginning to take shape the wedge piece will sit just like that on top of the strap make sure you really burnish the edges well and slick the bottom of the strap piece using an awl I'm going to hatch across the surfaces which will be glued together to ensure that there's a strong bond and liberally applying my favorite uh, contact cement I am making sure that those pieces are bonded together properly using a modeling tool ensure that uh, everything is stuck fast that's ready now for stitching I'm saddle stitching using about a one millimeter polyester thread that's heavily waxed this will make a very strong uh, join, join of the uh, uh, leather pieces this will make for a very strong bond doubling back for the second line of stitching and at the end I'll just bury the knot so that it won't be seen I think the stitching adds a lot to the piece it makes it look um, authentic and not just functional but uh, it makes it look very attractive tying off and burying the knot at the end now I've made this piece actually too long so I'm cutting it to the dimensions that are uh, in the description that top piece is going to be 9.5 centimeters now you can dry fit the pieces together 
and the way I do this is to make sure that the front part of the wedge uh, goes through and then begins to find some resistance because that keeper will actually stretch so I don't want it to make it too loose so just a snug fit to there will be just fine and uh, I need to just glue the back where I want the keeper to meet on the back and using quite a lot of glue I'm making sure that that keeper is going to be stuck fast and simply not going to move And that is basically it, ready to be installed on a pouch, on um, a Bible cover or something similar. Just a final wax and polish and then it's good to go. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this.